What is up everyone in the Ripple and XRP community? Good morning, happy Tuesday to you. January is almost over. Listen, a week from today at this time, I will be on a plane. I will be flying into Phoenix for a couple of days, couple of nights, and then driving over to Vegas Friday until Tuesday or Wednesday. I forget. Watching the Super Bowl in Vegas. It's going to be so cold. 30s at night. I have to go buy winter clothes. I have nothing. Cold over here where I am in Southwest Florida. We don't see 30s. We might get into the 40s. Couple of nights per year. But you know what? I just stay home then. I'm used to 86, 80 degrees during the winter months. I'm going to be in Vegas and Phoenix. It's going to be 50s and 60s. I need sweatshirts. I need long socks. I think I need some winter gloves. Anyways, enough about me. A lot to go over. We're going to be talking about Ripple and India and the connections going on and the banks and partnerships. There's so much just unfolding. It is crazy. The amount of news, the amount of information, the amount of new information that comes out every single day in regards to Ripple and partnerships and their tie-ins and what they're doing. Nothing is stopping them. The SEC can't hold them down, people. The SEC is trying. Listen, the way this SEC thing is going to unfold, one of two ways. Jay Clayton is either going to go down as the biggest piece of you-know-what in the history of the world because of what he did or what he is trying to do, which he will not succeed at, or he's going to be a madman, a genius, because he's like, hey, I see the vision. I see the future behind Ripple. I know what XRP is. No one's going to make a ruling on it. So what am I going to do? I'm going to drop a lawsuit forcing the courts to give us clarity. He did it on his day out. So we're going to find out. You're either going to love the guy or you're going to hate the guy. You're going to even hate him even more. I don't know what's going on. All I know is when this is all cleared up, at the end of the day, XRP lives on and Ripple will live on. It's either going to be with the U.S. or it's going to be without the U.S. Some people think it's a big deal if the U.S. isn't involved. You know what? What is the U.S.? 10, maybe 20% of all money moving cross border? That's okay with me. We still got the other 80% in the world that we're going after, people. That is a huge portion the price is still going to move. The price is still going to get where we need it to go. The price is still going to be double digits in 2021. We have not seen anything yet. This is the biggest shakeout of shakeouts. You need to realize this. Let's hop on over to Coin Market Cap. Before we do, make sure you give us a follow on Twitter at the bottom of the screen, XRP News underscore. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. We appreciate all of the newcomers to the channel. Thank you so much. The total market cap still sitting under one trillion nine hundred forty-one billion. The Bitcoin dominance has dropped a tiny bit from sixty-three percent to sixty-two point nine percent. We are seeing a red morning. That's okay. I'm not worried about it. XRP still sitting in its beautiful range at 0.2673 cents. Listen, I really think we're getting that push up before the monthly candle closes. I think we're going to hit that 30 and a half cents. Time's going to tell. If we do, it's a bullish, bullish sign for XRP. And you know what? <clears throat> if we don't, the world isn't over because altcoin season is coming and it's coming soon. All right, let's get on. Let's hop over to the news. Last night, Late last night, actually, before I fell asleep at like 9 o'clock like an old man, I made another video because it was so much information. Michael, at Val5 Links, make sure you give my man a follow. Customer interest globally remains very strong. The team continue to close new customer deals at a rate of two per week across more than 40 countries, 18 which are new to RippleNet. Did you hear that? Ripple is now in 18 additional countries and they're in these 18 additional countries after the sec news you know why because the sec can only mess up the united states they can only hurt the u.s in the long run 18 new countries i wish i pulled up the map of everywhere ripple was involved in i mean this whole thing is almost lit up they are everywhere and we know they're working with 40 to 50 central banks it is crazy. And even in times of COVID, Ripple was still signing two new clients, two new customers per week. That is unbelievable. What other cryptocurrency company, what other fintech company are signing customers at a rate of which Ripple is? I'll let you think about that. Time's up. No one, people. No one. Let's jump on over 
to my man Otilo Patil and make sure you give him a follow. He says this, why are Bitcoin is so freaked out with Janet Yellen's appointment as a secretary of treasury? I mean, isn't Bitcoin able to resist all kinds of government censorship? He's a funny guy, isn't he, people? Make sure you give my man a follow. So what is this a reference to? I'll tell you. Coindesk put out, I'm sure everyone knows by now it's in the space, Janet Yellen has been confirmed as the next secretary of treasury. She inherits the U.S. Treasury as it considers a host of proposed crypto rules. Well, guess what? Is Janet Yellen going to be good for most of the cryptocurrencies out there? I don't know. Most is pushing it. But you know what? Is she going to be good for XRP? Oh, yes, she is. Is she going to be bad for Bitcoin? Oh, yes, she is. She's all about the carbon neutral going green, and that is everything Bitcoin is against. It's going to be interesting to see what happens. And we all know what Christine Lagarde just said. Christine Lagarde is one of her best friends. For, for those of you who do not know, Christine Lagarde is all about regulating Bitcoin these days. Boy, did she take a complete 180. Love it. Love to see it. Love to hear it, people. Let's keep it moving. From the Cryptic Poet, check this out. Massive news right here. Ripple partner Finaster and HCL have joined up to provide treasury management in the cloud. Very interesting. Because Ripple just released two years ago at Swell. Ripple Net Cloud, now didn't they? Here's the article. Here's the headline. Finaster and ACL to provide treasury management in the cloud. Not going to read this whole thing, but listen to this. And then we're going to tie this all back in to Ripple and what's going on here. It says today. This came out two hours ago. Today, Finaster, one of the world's largest fintechs, announced a partnership with HCL Technologies, a leading global technology company, to provide treasury management technology in the cloud to smaller banks across Northern Europe, North America, India, and the Philippines. The partnerships bring to market a new digital treasury as a service offering, which enables banks to manage their treasury options more efficiently and effectively. Why do I find this interesting? Well, where is Ripple really starting to take off in? India, yes. We're about to cover that in a second. Philippines, Northern Europe, and North America. Let's go, people. So why is this so big? I'll tell you why. We go back to a Ripple Insights article from October 9th, 2019. Ripple to bring blockchain technology to Finastra's banking customers. That is right. Ripple and Finastra have been partners for almost two, well, year and a half. I won't push it. It says Ripple and Finastra have teamed up to offer Ripple's blockchain technology through Finastra's payment solution to support faster cross-border payments. As part of the collaboration, Finastra's customers will be able to connect and transact with RippleNet partners, more than 200 financial institutions worldwide, and in turn, partners can access Finastra's vast global footprint. Users will also be able to send international payments with end-to-end -end tracking and visibility into fees, delivery time, and status. This is where the world is going, and then wait, check this out, it gets better. They will also have the option to use on-demand liquidity, which leverages the digital asset XRP for cross-border payments, people. Finaxter processes over 9% of all SWIFT transactions. 9% from Finaxter. And they joined partners, or they teamed up with Ripple back in 2019 to speed up cross-border payments because SWIFT is 40-year-old technology, doesn't get the job done. And yes, all of their clients have the option to use XRP. Obviously, they're not forced to use it. It's on a client-to-client -client basis, so it's up to them. And then, what did we just get news of today? Well, Finextra and HCL Technologies, you know, they're just getting together. No big deal. to provide treasury management cloud technology. Very, very interesting times. And then we move over. My man, Stephen Bull Deep. This is huge. I covered this late last night, but I have to, for all the people listen to the, today's video and didn't hear last night, listen to this. This is some of the biggest news you're ever going to hear. Ripple will be working with central banks to develop protocols that support the direct exchange of central bank digital currencies on the XRP ledger using XRP as a bridge currency. People. This came from Ripple Insights article. This came from Brad Gollinghouse. He just told you what they're doing. 
There's a reason he, they don't want me, you, your mom, your daddy, your aunt, your uncle to own XRP because we're not going to be transferring central bank digital currencies. XRP is meant to be a bridge asset. There is no reason me and you need a bridge asset. The banks are going to take care of that. What did Ripple, what did Brad Gollinghouse just tell you? What I have been preaching for the longest time and I'm going to continue to preach it. XRP will bridge all the central bank digital currencies in the world. You no longer have to take my word for it. Brad Gollinghouse just told you. We already know that central banks are looking into using the XRP ledger. We already know Ripple is working with 40 to 50 central banks. There is a reason that Ripple is working with 40 to 50 central banks because the central bank digital currencies that are created by those banks are going to run on the ledger and they're all going to be bridged by XRP. RP. Know what you hold because you hold gold. All you have to do is buy at these cheap prices because when this whole SEC thing is done, it's going to be too late. When the flip, when the switch is flipped, like Ashish Burla told us last night, it's going to be too late. The tsunami is coming. The wave of all waves is coming. You just have to hold. Is it coming tomorrow? Absolutely not. Are we going to see it later this year? I firmly believe it, and it's just going to keep on ramping up. XRP is not an ordinary digital currency. Unlike Bitcoin, where you have 90% drops, we're not going to see this once XRP is stable. We have seen this time after time again. XRP is referred to a stable coin. Why? Because it floats in these magical ranges, 26 to 28 cents, 26 to 29 cents. Then it goes up and it floats again in another range. If you zoom out on an XRP time chart and you look at it, it looks like it's a flat line, people. Pay attention. Ripple just told you last night what the plan is, what is going on, and who they are working with behind the scenes. And then from a man, Michael, add Val 5 links. Check this out. RBI is exploring the possibility as to whether there is a need for a digital version of fiat currency and a case there is and how to, op op to operate it. RBI, Reserve Bank of India. Ashish Birla just told us last night Ripple is involved with three of the five largest banks in India. And at India, Tamena is going to be their largest corridor. It is growing each and every day. And now we have RBI, the Reserve Bank of India, talking. That's a central bank for you to know. RBI is the Central Bank of India, talking about whether there is a need for a digital version of the rupee. What did Brad just tell us? Central bank digital currencies are going to run on the XRPL and they're going to be bridged by XRP. Ashish Birla told us how big they are in India and how it keeps expanding. Do you not think that the rupee is going to be on the XRPL? And you know where India sends a lot of money? Back into Japan. Back in Southeast Asia. You know what's going to bridge it? You know what's going to speed up transactions? XRPL. RP people. Here are the 10 top banks in India. Ashish told us last night they're working with three out of five. So out of the top 10, they're working with three out of the five largest. I'm going to tell you which ones they are right now. Number four, Axis. Number five, Kodiak. And number two, the State Bank of India. And here is proof about the State Bank of India from my lovely website, xrprightnow.com. Make sure you check it out. It's back, it's alive. They tried to hack it. They tried to take it out. Uh-uh. Not stopping this guy. State Bank of India and FSS, a massive deal. This is March 6, 2019. Today, we get news from Financial that the State Bank of India has partnered with Financial Software and Systems, a leading global digital payment and financial technology company to implement first of its kind, one nation, one card program and accelerate the growth of digital payments at mass scale. How big is that? And then I go on to tell you right down here how FSS is tied in because they allow a UPI based payments over the Ripple network. You can see the picture from the mobile banking app using RippleNet to move money. They go in between the USD and the Indian rupee. This is huge people. Central banks are here. They're coming. They're going to hit us from every angle. 40 to 50 we've been working with. XRP is going to bridge them all. Take my word for it. Take Brad Gollinghouse's word. The genie is out the bottle. We know what's going on. Ripple just told you 2021 is going to be a massive year. That's going to do it for me. Wash your damn hands. Be nice and be kind to of each other. Ripple Van Winkle is out.